learn how to determine whether two ratios are equivalent to each other. And so we're going to try and determine which ratios are equivalent to two-sixths. And we're going to figure out which of these three ratios are equivalent to two-sixths. So let's begin by comparing four-twelfths. Well, is two-sixths the same thing as four-twelfths? And you can see that, well, two times two is equal to four, and six times two is equal to 12. That tells us that these two ratios are equivalent to each other. So these two ratios are equivalent to each other. Let's take a look at 3 ninths. This one's a little toughy because 3 ninths and 2 sixths, you can't see a number easily that you can multiply by 2 to get 3 and that you can multiply 6 to get 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to take both of those fractions or ratios and we're going to reduce them. Well, 3 ninths, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3, so 3 ninths reduces to 1 third. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Similarly, 2 sixths, we can reduce both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Since 3 ninths reduces to 1 third, and 2 sixths reduces to 1 third. That tells us that 3 ninths and 2 sixths are equivalent to each other. And the last one we're going to look at is 6 twelfths. Is 6 twelfths equivalent to 2 sixths? Well, in this case, 2 times 3 equals 6, and 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And since these two numbers are different, that tells us that these two ratios are not equivalent. They are different from each other.